throughout American history, we've had a struggle between the African and the European. The African and the contributions, there's always this struggle to just let people know the greatness. The great thing about Congo Square is you feel that, that vibe. When you're here, you can have a sense of calm and relaxation and understanding that you know, our ancestors paid a heavy price for us to be here. Hi, I'm Delphio Marcellus. <laughs> Our band, after COVID, or during COVID, we did a number of live streams. I wanted to do a celebration of Juneteenth here in Congo Square. And then it just kind of morphed from that into jazz at Congo Square. Really great. People came out, they had a good time. The bands was, you know, they were slamming. It, it was just joyous, and for us, there's of course the, the African drum circle. The Congo Square drum circle, and they joined us, and we had some folks in the audience came and they danced. Here you are away from the motherland, trying to get by any way you can. When we were talking about having jazz at Congo Square, did you think that that was gonna coincide with the battle that we're having over Armstrong Park, over Congo Square right now when it comes to this building that sits just right in front of us? No, we didn't have that in mind, but there's always some kind of battle or some struggle, one way or another, you know, it's an ongoing thing. If it has to do with you know, displacement or gentrification or this or that. You know, it's sacred ground. We'd love to see something spectacular happen with the Municipal Auditorium and at the same time celebrate or maintain the space that is Congo Square. It's sacred ground and you still have folks who are owners and their people were owners, you know, early on and they don't want to let it go and nor should they. You know, my mother especially was, she was the one who made sure that we were aware of history, aware of what was going on, aware of the struggle. And she never let us forget. And I guess she was trying to save us from certain kind of heartache and disappointment. But also she prepared us well for it. So that's kind of what we're trying to pass on, you know, to the younger folks. It's, look, don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted because every turn, what your ancestors accomplished, they're trying to either erase it or not acknowledge it. And it has to be important to you. That's why jazz is the only music that truly represents the democracy. It represents the idea that you have a voice, I have a voice, we get a chance to improvise in a solo, but it always sounds best when the collective comes together. And that's the fundamentals of democracy. And the Africans, who were denied a lot of the principles in our Constitution, that's kind of the irony of it, they figured it out. And they said, I don't know that they sat down and said, okay, how can we create a music that's gonna represent the democratic principles? But it sure does. Now, at a certain point, you have to hold something sacred. It's important to have some things that are not, you know, subject to capitalism. And that's what Congo Square should represent. You heard me? <laughs>